Well, hey, welcome to the Foxfire Cabins Radio and Picture Show. Also, the Dork Report with Dork Holmes as me. Uh, it's my theme song. Um, and uh, let's see. So uh, I'm working on my assignment here for Professor Chedwich. I'm an exchange student from Foxfire University. Uh, exchanging with Oceanside Village in Calypso's Island, which is where I usually work. I'm an investigative reporter. But I have this <coughs> student video to do for Professor Chedwich. He uh, docks me a point every time I mispronounce his name. So um, I think I may have lost a point. His uh, first name is Gordon. So uh, we can call him that, or, or maybe Flash. Uh, just kidding. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> my assignment is to do a report on EHL Studios. Um, now this is a student at Foothill College. He calls himself EHL Studios, and uh, there's a story apparently that he's uh, like a robot android. It was created by mice from an alternate universe uh, who have escaped from laboratories over the years and engineered an alternate universe and have constructed this android to interact with human beings as a diplomatic measure, I think. Uh, something like that, but a lot of stuff is going on, so I don't really quite understand some of the things. I had them work on the sign. Uh, I'm still wondering what the C is. And this, I guess, looks more like a veil. Like they suggested. Uh, poetry, I guess. There's a woman up here. I'm, I'm not sure what's going on. What is this What is this tower? What is this city? Anyway. But it looks better. It's kind of long. Uh, yeah. So, uh, <clears throat> we'll see. I'm here at Foxfire Cabins. That's where I do my report. I'm just supposed to do a simple kind of update what's happening, what information I've been given from the mice we have been in contact with now uh, have some evidence uh, had them to you know draw pictures of themselves I like drawing and uh, this is one of our main contacts here he's a student and uh, yeah so uh, pretty intelligent little guy uh, but here's uh, here's some more evidence here now this is a uh, Apparently a newspaper that was started in the early period of the development of this android. They were trying different uh, artificial intelligence algorithms uh, for communicating human interests to mice interests so they can understand what's going on. You know, why, <laughs> why do we have this situation with human beings and mice? So uh, here's a, uh, now <clears throat> you will notice that this is a, uh, all been done by hand, which is pretty extreme. Apparently, their printing press broke down, and they had the poor guy, the printer, do everything by hand. A typesetter, apparently. So you can see here in the last paragraph, it looks like it got a little difficult for the guy. Anyway, the main point here is these mice up here, in this article, if you look here. These mice from an alternate universe are trying to convince our scientists that our moon's actually made of cheese. And they claim there's a cover up. Now, <clears throat> this could be a situation. I don't, you know, this is just in my research. Uh, they have yet to comment specifically on this evidence here. But we do have mice very similar to this showing up, giving us evidence and interacting. Um, they're pretty respectable. And so, you know, we're doing a pretty good job on the sign here. I tend to argue a little bit sometimes, creative process, but uh, I think they're doing all right. So <clears throat> there's one thing I want to clear up that's been going around on this thing about me and Janet Jasmine. Uh, don't really, don't really, well, I think I should Talk about it, I guess, because it's kind of going around. So, 
yeah, people are thinking we're not together anymore. And uh, well, for one thing, we have different assignments, and we both work generally in Oceanside Village. She's a private investigator, and uh, we're just on different assignments. And uh, the situation with Rob. Now, I had the mice draw a picture of her and her, well, her <clears throat> uh, one of her employees, and uh, you can see here, did a pretty good job, I think. Looks like her. And it's Peking Duck right here. Well, this guy, he's a, uh, to be honest, he's a little annoying. But, um, you know, he tends to push my buttons, so well, we have a thing going on, and uh, I respect him, because he keeps an eye out for Janet. Does a pretty good job. Comes through. But uh, he's uh, kind of a constant presence sometimes. And anyway, I'll move on. So, uh, this here's Rob. Now, she's been seen a lot with Rob. And so people are thinking, oh, Rob, this guy, Rob, comes out of nowhere. And uh, now she's hanging with this guy because they go out dancing. Now, what people don't realize, and I got to tell people here, is Rob is my cousin. And, uh, well, he didn't know that I had a thing with Janet. And so it's kind of a thing. I, I don't know what's going on. Janet's a free person. She, I mean, you know, heck, she can do what she likes. I don't have control over her. And her friend Megan has been following me around. I don't know why. Uh, but uh, she's, Megan says, well, she's concerned about Janet and wants to know what happened. I'm like, what? And she's a friend of Janet. Not knowing Megan from back, she's like a tech, super intelligent, like some genius type, you know, dime a dozen. But, uh, I'm just kidding. But, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, what, to, what am I supposed to say? I don't know. Anyway, Rob's my cousin. Now, we go way back because when we were kids, you know, we grew up, we're, well, I don't want to get too much in our history, but uh, as we got older, I developed a music tick and he became a danceaholic. So, he's got a condition. And I think that's what, you know, Janet's trying to help him out. Like, sort of, you know, to go out, help him with his condition. And uh, <clears throat> this is his cat here, he's a nar narcoleptic. So, Rob has a number of issues, you know. But the thing about Kirk here, his cat, uh, you know, it's difficult to have these, these uh, limitations on our lives, and Kirk is it's pretty incredible. He comes up with the most amazing <laughs> uh, revelations about what's actually going on, but unfortunately he falls asleep right in the middle of what he's saying. And by the time he wakes up, we have all figured it out, the rest of it anyway. So, I don't know, uh, you know, these, these things we deal with. And uh, Rob came to visit. I didn't tell Janet because uh, things were happening too quickly. I got this assignment from Professor Chedwich and uh, Gordon. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, so I've been dealing with a lot of information. And this guy, EHL Studios, look at this. It's pretty amazing. Look, we got this technology here. Also, that's going on. We have evidence. Of. So, now, what's also been happening here, right at this very moment, EHL Studios has been called to the Dean. Okay, so there's some sort of situation that the mice have engineered, some sort of causality loop. Oof. They say there's communication through time and some sort of project they have going on. It's, you know, and virtual reality. So the story is... Uh, well, they started in school, like, way back in 2002 at Fuyo College, and uh, did a drawing of the skyline here, and uh, took a basic drawing class, failed it miserably, but uh, took a music class and got an A. So they had a <laughs> pretty horrible grade, for some reason, and a uh, really good grade. So over time... I just took classes off and on as they're working on their artificial intelligence algorithms and stuff. 
And uh, now we have the results now, which they've uh, managed to secure some funds, which part is a grant and part is money is going to have to be paid back at the end of this uh, thing that they're doing. So now everybody's concerned. It's like, well, so there's investment in this EHL student studios guy who apparently is an android controlled by mice from alternate universe. And now we got this Dorton Holmes reporting on it. And now, so he's called to the team. What's what's the dealio? <clears throat> Apparently, there's some issue going on with, with 3D animation that the uh, mice want to talk about. Some technical issues and some, something about integration, and like uh, Jungian psychology, and all this like heavy stuff. I'm like, damn, I'm gonna have to hit the books just to do my report. Well, you know, I don't know if you can imagine it's uh, kind of tough. So, uh, main project now seems to be uh, something called the Gosling Project, which the mice say they started uh, <clears throat> like pre-1999. So here are some images. Uh, they got a production blog. So they're pretty public about this. Now apparently this ship is uh, a virtual reality platform. <clears throat> it's one of the first projects they started to develop. So, uh, you know, what's going on? And look, you know, what's, so apparently, so this ship is orbiting Saturn, or was orbiting Saturn, and is now on the way to Earth. Uh, it's going to intersect with our reality. So, uh, there are eight people on this ship, apparently. Uh, Ella looks like they've been abducted and they're being held. Now there's a room that uh, has this object in it. Um, they don't know what it is. <clears throat> now the mice say they're going to do an update of these images because these are uh, updated, but uh, updates should come soon, hopefully. Uh, they're going to use some new techniques. And uh, study the implications of the project because uh, a number of things are happening that they didn't quite expect. Uh, also related to the image they drew in 2002. We'll show this again. When well, they entered the college for the first time. So, it's very curious stuff. Now, uh, we'll see what happens with the, with the meeting with the dean. I don't know what the report is on uh, what this project is, the Gosling project. I heard there's another project called the uh, Aeon Portal, something about uh, a uh, multi-dimensional and a media convergence kind of thing. Um, I have to find out more about that. But meanwhile, this thing with Janet and I. Uh, uh, uh oh, I think I got it. Uh, I got a. Uh, music tick come on. Now some things you, you just have to let play out. Is what we're going around. 
Не пытается на как. You've been taking orders. Running around like a mouse. Scared in a house. those things out anyway um moving on so uh the mice have been teaching me some music uh here's a little song that uh they taught me um uh, this is about a little guy i met on the street and uh he's a mouse but he's not full-time on the crew uh so uh he taught me this song right here as I walk down the street, I see people looking down at me. I wonder sometimes what do you think? Cabins, 
Radio on Picture Show. Darn Signing out. And uh, look out for the little guys. Take it easy. <laughs>